Hi everybody, welcome back to another Friday Night Fireside video. Um, tonight's video is going out to, especially to Todd and Connie. Um, as you know, uh, my kids have been involved with musical theater for years now um, through All About Music and Mokina. and um, the Friday Night Fireside videos started um, when COVID hit, unfortunately, and no one could get together and we had to stop our play and Todd and Connie play all the time on the weekends out live for people and that had to stop. So they thought about doing this via Facebook um, concert and somehow I did a drink video and we just kind of went from there and it was like, oh, you want to do a video to go along with the fireside concerts? And oh, there you have it. There, this That's where we're at. And we love it and we enjoy all about music more than you can ever imagine. Um, and Todd and Connie and this whole COVID thing has been so tough for everybody. So um, this drink is dedicated this video um, to Todd and Connie. This is called, this drink tonight we are doing is the Hot Tommy. And of course now we're doing the warm drink when it's gonna be, you know, 60 this weekend, but whatever. So again, this is dedicated with love to All About Music, Children's Theater, and Todd and Connie. The Hot Tommy. So for tonight's drink, we are going to need, it's super easy. You need some whiskey, any kind of whiskey. I have Jack Daniels here, honey, and hot water. I have some hot water that's done here in the microwave. Some people use tea, um, you could use tea as well, and lemon, and um, some people put cinnamon in it. I'm going to put cinnamon in it because I like that. So I have my hot water. Um, so. Before you put the hot water in though, I think, let me see, because now my page disappeared on me here and I don't know the drink well enough. So you start by putting the whiskey in first. Let's see. Oh yeah, that is like, that's whiskey. This will cure your, cure your cold, I think, definitely. Maybe, that's whiskey-ish. Okay, so our first ingredient is going to be the whiskey. I don't know how much it calls for. I'm just putting a little bit of whiskey in um, because I think we put your whiskey, honey, then you top it with your hot water, lemon juice. So our first one is going to be the Jack Daniels. Okay, so we have to put a little bit of the mm, whiskey in. So first, and I think it said, again, my thing went out, um, like one and a half ounces. You know me. It's just going to be bing, bing, bing till whenever. Let's see. We won't put too much in because, ooh, okay. I don't know if that's a big pour or not. You probably can't even see. Ooh, it's going to spill out. Nope, you can't see. All right. So that is our whiskey. So we put the whiskey in. Then we put a teaspoon of honey in. Um, again, I'm just going to put the honey in. I'm not going to bother measuring honey and teaspoon of honey is like just plop it in I don't know why I smell the honey I don't know if honey smells I guess it does smell honeyish mm, not bad so we're gonna put a teaspoon of honey over the whiskey okay let's add our honey I don't know what that, ooh, we'll do a little more. Honey's good for you, I think. We'll even do one more, a little big, big doll up there. Okay, so we have the whiskey, the honey. Now it calls for the hot water. So let me get that out. I don't have anything fancy, it's just heating up in my Pyrex because it's safe to go in the microwave, I'm assuming. I'm always afraid these are gonna burst when I use them in a microwave or an oven, Pyrex. I know it's not supposed to, but I have this irrational fear of it ex exploding. Okay, so we're gonna pour then the water over the whiskey and honey. Okay, 
I'm gonna pour this and I think it called for two ounces. I don't know if that's two ounces, but it's hot water, so it's going over. Ooh. Over that. Oh, I can already smell this. And this is my, I don't have a lot of teacups. I know they show them in like glass so you can see it. I don't have many teacups, but this one I do have. Look at that beauty. There's some, let me see if you can see. This is from Chinatown when I went. And there's some writing there. I don't know what that says, but I'm gonna say that it says, um, whoever drinks out of this cup is lucky. It makes really good videos. So that's what that cup I think says. So it's in there and let me tell you, it smells, it smells whiskey-y. Oh, I just dribbled some. It smells pretty whiskey-ish, but it also smells pretty good. So we're gonna put now some lemon into this. It says squeeze fresh lemon. So I'm literally gonna squeeze this fresh lemon over this. It's, I don't know how much it said, to be honest. I, I'm just squeezing. There you go. Okay, that's in. I am going to stir it um, so it gets stirred around. Okay, this is a huge fork to stir it, but okay. So stir that up. Woo. Okay. And we're gonna put lemon right on top. And the final, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that cinnamon smells wonderful. It smells like breakfast or like Christmas. I don't know, it just smells good. It smells like Christmas breakfast. That's what it smells like. So I'm gonna take one of these. If I can get it out. I think this is the first time I've ever bought real cinnamon sticks. I don't know what else you do with these. Unless you use them, do you think you should, like, you, can you shave these down and use it for cinnamon in things, I wonder? I don't know. Okay, oh, look it, I could use this to stir. Look at that, mm, it's like a stir stick. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to bring this over again because I don't know if you can see how pretty this is. You can't, oh my goodness, you can't. I'll take a picture of it and put it on this video. Okay, so I am going to try it now. Okay, whiskey, water, honey, lemon, and a stick of cinnamon. Let's try this. Oh my gosh, the hot tani. You know, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely whiskey tasting, but it's not, oh, it's very, oh, I think because it's warm, it's so tasty and smooth and you, okay, sorry. You wanna try it? Okay, okay. Sure, come on over, you could try it. I can't hear. Okay. Okay, come on. I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. Okay. It's no coffee. No, it's no coffee, but it's good. Well, there you have it. The Hot Tani, very good. I love the, I have to say, I really love the taste of it. It's warm, it's not too liquory, like the whiskey isn't too strong at all. It's just kind of perfect in that lemon and the honey with this stick of cinnamon, I guess gives it a little something, I don't know, or you just use it to stir. But this is very good and I can absolutely see how this would, open you up if you're not feeling good, if you have a cold, or if you just want a warm alcohol drink, it's good. Oh yeah, definitely. This is a tasty one. This is, this is your absolute Friday night fireside drink. This is it, the hot tani. You have your whiskey, you have your honey, 
If you wanna put some cinnamon sticks in there, you can. Or maybe even just put some cinnamon in there, but I think the sticks are good for stirring up the honey. Lemon, fresh lemon juice, and then a little piece of lemon in there isn't, isn't bad either. You mix it all up, this is very, very tasty. I love the lemon in it. Yeah, this one definitely a lot of people can drink because it is not strong at all. Very good, I love it. So thank you again for watching another one of these videos. Um, after you watch this, please go on to All About Music's um, Facebook page and watch the live concert. Thanks again, Todd and Connie. Thank you for all that you do for the kids and everybody else. And it's so much fun doing these with you guys. So um, looking forward to the music. Have a great weekend, everybody. And we'll see you soon. Cheers.